What's going on guys? It's Jay from Dirty Boy Tools. Here to go over with you today my driving options and driving combinations uh, that I can use in this toolkit that I just made a video of. Uh, these are different combinations and drivers that have helped me throughout different problems that I've seen. Um, I've used pretty much most of the, of the combinations I'm going to show you today. There are a few I haven't used, maybe like one or two that I haven't used, uh, but a lot of these things put together have helped me through a lot of situations where I couldn't reach a screw, couldn't reach a bolt, or uh, had trouble threading uh, something in because of just an awkward positioning, things like that. But let me start with my most used tool on here. This is the Vim Pass-Through Ratchet. Uh, I've had this in pretty much every single work toolkit video I've ever done. Uh, this won't leave any toolkits. I can't imagine finding anything that can replace this. Sure, it can be improved upon, but this has been very useful and it's been helpful even in bigger jobs, even in tighter bolts. It's helped me out a ton. So the main way I use this is just as is. I'll just take a bit, put it in. Let me get a bit out here. Uh, let me get the quarter inch bit because you know what? That'll come in handy later. So take the quarter inch bit, put it in there. Now I can, you know, ratchet on a uh, quarter inch uh, hex bolt. Uh, let's say I want to change that up a little bit and reach down a little more. I take the pass through portion out, then I make sure the flat side right here doesn't align up with the white dot side right here. As long as they don't line up, this won't pass through it. So now I have an extended ratchet. I can take that a little further if I need to and I can adjust the angles accordingly. And of course, I can go right back to passing through if I can line it up right and put the bit down. Now I have a T bar, breaker bar, which actually ends up being pretty nice to drive things in. Very useful. And of course, probably one of the last uh, options, but it does get used every now and then. I can just insert the bit directly into that driver extend the pass-through portion to the end now I have a very long reaching ratchet this also gives me extra torque I have used that extra torque I don't want to go too crazy using a lot of extra heavy torque because I don't know how much this tool can take but so far it hasn't given me any problems and uh, I've had you know pretty much no issues love this tool highly recommend it so the second driver I'll show you is my LaBear driver that I keep in here with this. So the main use that this gets is the T-bar handle use. So I take a bit, take it out of that, put it in here. So now I have a T-bar just like my Vim ratchet. Difference is it's a ratcheting T-bar and this is a very smooth ratchet as well. This is how I mostly use this tool. I do have other options as well though. Let's say I take this, put it back, I can take this part off, put it here, now I have just a regular ratchet. The head is a little big, it sticks out, but if I can get in the right place, I do have a regular working ratchet. I've never really used that portion since I've never had to, but it's nice to have, and if you're going to carry this type of tool by itself, then it'll definitely come in handy. Now, we can one time, I think there's only been one time I've see, had this issue, I've had to reach a screw in a far away place and uh, there was probably, you know, some, what is it called, like some fencing in between. Uh, so I've had to combine these two tools together. Uh, I usually don't do this, but it was a desperate situation, so I ended up doing it. So what I did was I took this, put it this way. Luckily, the screw wasn't a quarter inch bit. It was a, uh, I think it was a Phillips number one or number two. And let me take this out. Now I have this extended reaching tool right here. It's a little awkward. It's not ideal, but it's got a far reach in it. Actually, if I were to put it against this, if I had the bit in there, that's 16 inches, or no, 16 minus 4, that's, uh, that's a foot. That's a foot of reach right there, uh, just from that tool, so that can help save you in some situations. 
Of course, if you're not using a quarter inch bit, and you put this on the end, and of course you put this here, and you go there, now you have a very long reaching pole. If you put your bit in there, you can extend that in, and you can even get a little bit of a ratchet out. So, not ideal, not something you'd use in everyday situations, but it does come up. So that is similar to what I used one day in combining these ratchets. Hopefully I won't have to use anything like that again because that was a little awkward, but you know, I had to get it done, so that's what I did. Now, the next driving option I have is my vessel driver. Now this vessel driver of course comes with this bit, and it works great with this, but like I said before, desperate times, right? So, I wanted to drive something in there, and I wanted something more comfortable. Usually this T-bar driver is very comfortable when it comes to looser screws, and this is comfortable when I have to actually put a little bit of torque on screws because it gives me a ratcheting option, but sometimes loose screws require a tool like this. I'll take my vessel driver and I'll take this little bit adapter that came with my Timu bit kit and I'll just combine them just like that. It's not ratcheting but it is rotating here so I can just drive accordingly. So let's say I have, let me show you a flat bit, why not? Because that will show you the turns. So I put my flat bit in there and now I have that option as well. So another great option, don't use it too often, but if I'm doing a lot of stuff, this does come in handy. If I take this out, this is another combination that looks silly, it looks like uh, something you'd never do, but this is something I do a lot more often than not. I take this, put it into the passer, uh, the, uh, the pass-through portion, and then I'll just rotate. What this allows me to do is, sometimes you want to ratchet down on a screw, but you can't because it's too loose in the threading, right? So, you just do it by hand this way, and when the, it gets tighter and you need to torque it down, then you switch over to this portion. It's a little weird, it doesn't seem like something that you do, and honestly I didn't think I'd ever do it, but it's something that I end up doing more often than not. <coughs> so that's another option that I have with this driver, between the extender and this pass-through. Uh, this does a lot of good for me. And the last option, I didn't really talk about too much, but I do use it a lot. Um, if I'm just doing one of those loose screws, I'll end up taking this portion and just, you know, uh, you, just winding it in that way. I don't particularly like using the thumb driver. I've never really found it comfortable to use a thumb driver, but this is a nice substitute. So, those are my options. Those are my driver options and driver combinations that I have and the ones that I use. I'm sure there are more options or more combinations out there, but these are the combinations that have gotten me out of uh, many different situations that I've been placed in. So let me know what you guys think, if you guys have any, have any ideas or uh, what other combinations that you guys might use. I'd love to hear about it.